Good morning, Eagles. Today is Friday, April 29th. My name is Dominic Wilson, and this is your Grand Hills News Network. Attention seniors, are you interested in performing at graduation or at senior award ceremony? If so, please send a video of you singing the song of your choice to Mrs. Hernandez in the guidance office no later than May 6th. The song should be appropriate for the event, no profanity or negative references. It should be a song that inspires is inspiring to the class of 2022. You'll be notified the following week if you are selected. Please see Mrs. Hernandez for more information. Attention Eagles, all students are expected to be in class when the bell rings. Due to excessive amount of students in the halls during class, campus supervisors will be conducting tardy sweeps throughout each day for the rest of the semester. If you are picked up during a tardy sweep, you can expect to be assigned a lunch detention. High school is a chance to practice good habits for your future. Don't be late! Attention seniors, miss one of the wor workshops to become a Queen Macca or Grossmont College student? Confused about the new student process? Connect with the college ambassador to receive additional help or make up any missteps. They will be here April 26th, May 3rd, and May 10th from 7 to 1.30 in the Counseling Center. All students must bring their crumbs. Attention Eagles, are you interested in joining a club? Today at lunch, anime will meet in room 32. Youth for Truth will meet in room 53. Yearbook meets every day in room 60. Surf Club will meet on Saturday at Mission Beach. They all hope to see you there. Attention Eagles, do you still need help applying for a community college? Join college representatives in the counseling office for assistance April 26th, May 3rd, May 10th, all from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Drop in anytime. Attention students, the last Mega Mini Day of the year will take place on Thursday, May 5th from 12.30 to 2.30 in the library. Sign up via the Schoolology Group Eagle Resources. To sign up, please join the Schoolology Group if you have not done so already. Check-ins will start in front of the library at 12.15. Space is limited, so sign up ASAP. Please see Ms. Hansel for more information. Prom tickets are now available on sale in the Finance Office. April 18th to the 22nd is $50. April 25th to the 29th is $55, and May 2nd to the 6th is $60. Make sure not to miss out on a night you'll remember. Juniors and seniors, do you remember being nervous about coming to a big high school? Do you want to mentor the incoming freshmen and welcome them to Granite? Do you want to be involved on campus and help others? Then Eagle Link is the place for you. You want to participate as an Eagle Link leader during the 2022-2023 school year, stop by room 236 to pick up an application. There will also be an informational meeting on Friday, April 29th at the lunch in room 236 next to the little theater across from the lunchbox. Applications are due to Ms. Hansel in room 236 by Friday, May 13th. Attention students, National Honor Society is having a fundraiser May 2nd at Chipotle on Hamasha Road. 
33% of the event sales get donated to the cause. Please see Mrs. Brewer for more information. Attending students, that school jazz band is looking for a bass player. Rehearsals are after school on Wednesday from 2.45 to 4.15. Piano players are also welcome to try it. You'll be given a brand new bass to use. Please see Mr. Caldwell for more details in room 161. And I'm not Cargill. And, and this, this is, is the Dylan, Dylan and Not Cargill Sports, Sports Report. Report. Here's a Padres update for you all. Get your brims out because the Padres have started their eight game road trip with a three game sweep against the Cincinnati Reds. Next, the Padres will play against Pittsburgh for a three game series and then Cleveland, Cleveland for a two game interleague series against the Guardians. The record on the season is 13 and 7, which means they are third in the NL West. Padres starting pitcher Mike Clevenger is set to return against the Guardians after his long stint on the long-term IL. Go Padres! We haven't talked about one of the major sports in North America on this report yet, and that sport is hockey. The NHL regular season is coming to an end, which means the Stanley Cup playoffs is right around the corner. If you haven't watched hockey before, playoff hockey is what it's all about. The teams to watch in the first round are the Minnesota Wild, Toronto Maple Leafs, and LA Kings. The Wild are looking for their first Stanley Cup in franchise history and could go far into the playoffs. The star talent of Kirill Kaprizov, who leads the Wild in goals and assists, will try to take them all the way this year, as they will face the St. Louis Blues in the first round. The Maple Leafs are under extreme pressure this year to break their 18-year streak of losing in the first round. Being an original six franchise, their history is filled with 13 Stanley Cup wins, the last being in 1967. Will players like Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and William Nylander break the 55-year curse? Or will they go out again in the first round? We'll have to wait and find out. Finally, the LA Kings are California's best team, being the only one that made the playoffs. After years of rebuilding, the Kings are finally back in the playoffs with the likes of Andre Kopitar and Adrian Kempe. Even though these teams are going to be fun to watch, my prediction is a Colorado Avalanche versus Tampa Bay Lightning final, with Avalanche winning in six games. However, the playoffs can be quite unpredictable, meaning my prediction may be way off. You can watch the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs on May 2nd on the networks of ESPN, ABC, TNT, and TBS. That's all for today's sports report. Back to Dom in the studio. This has been your Grand Hills News Network. Thanks for watching. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Dr. Seuss. I'm Dominic Wilson. Sign off. Have a great day, Eagle.